All right, a little recap here. Wiring's almost done. I just got the uh, the RPM gauge. More paper. Yeah, coming off a bad cold. So, anyways, this is where we're at. We took the engine. Uh, I should say we took the bumper off. I have to remove this part here, which is not there. Tack welds. You just drill them out. And unfortunately, I was hacking away with the, uh, the chisel, and the hammer, and uh, got into the framework. But I'd rather keep this. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that. So I took the headlights out. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to confiscate this here, and we're gonna have to remove one of the tabs, I believe, off the headlight. We're at the bottom one here. Man, everything's full of crease. Walk right here take off this tab here and we'll be able to bolt the upper part of the radiator onto this tab so there you have it she's in as you can see already started it up <sighs> so there you have it wiring's completed there pardon me just woke up from a nap Friday afternoon <coughs> trying to recuperate as fast as possible finish this off so there you have it oh yeah we're working on the exhaust the exhaust is on but the exhaust that the guy uh, gave with the car it's for legacy anyways we got the uh, the Y pipe or the header pipe the equal length H6 has an equal length all the way back there see so it's on a box we have the muffler you can see the flange there. Flange there and muffle over there. We have to use, we're gonna have to cut. I'm gonna cut into the uh, mid pipe, make it shorter, because the muffler sticks out way out. So that's what we're gonna do. Maybe today. No, more like tomorrow, maybe. Today we're just gonna work on the rat. Finish off some stuff. Start putting the dash back in and stuff. So, yeah. So we're making progress. Can't wait to see this thing run. Well, it runs, but I mean, drive. I'm gonna be sick. I don't mind doing an easy 30R or an easy 36 because yeah, that'll fit in the hole without uh, modifying the rad. So, see, look at the clearance. Not much clearance. So, to give you an idea, that's the rad support right there. So, I'm like right above it. So, yeah. There is no room. Oh, by the way, to get the engine in, we had to um, to get the engine in without cutting this part because I don't want to cut that. I want to keep it uh, intact for insurance purposes and stuff because in case he ever gets an accident where he has to go for an inspection or something and it's easy to see a body is hacked away. The car is not going to be road worthy. Anyways, what we did is we... Uh, what I did is I had the drive shaft on, so what I did is I removed the center bearing. There's a bearing that holds uh, both uh, front and rear drive shaft up in the center. And what you do is you let it you let it collapse. It's like this, you let it collapse. Like, you know, in the middle there, the pivot. You let it collapse, and then the transmission will move back far enough. Even with the, uh, the half shafts in. It'll move far enough so you can get the engine down and then get the studs that are on the bottom of the engine, those studs into the uh, into the uh, the transmission and then uh, what we did is uh, by doing so we're able to get the engine into the transmission, bolt the bottom up and then pull the engine forward with the tranny and drop her into the engine mounts. So there you have it. There's the caption where we are now. So uh, that's about it. So we just got we just got some final things to finish off, and that's about it. All right, ten four, over and out.